The sacrifice continues. One, I desire to approach the Zathras with my worship. I desire to approach the Barisman with my worship. I desire to approach the Zathra conjointly with the Barisman in my worship. And the Barisman conjointly with the Zathra. Yea, I desire to approach this Zathra here and with this present Barisman. And I desire to approach this Barisman conjoined with this Zathra with my praise. And I desire to approach this Barisman with praise provided with its Zathra, with its girdle, and spread with sanctity too. And in this Zathra and the Barisman, I desire to approach Ahura Mazda with my praise, the Holy Lord of the Ritual Order, and the Bountiful Immortals, all oh, those who rule aright and who dispose of all aright. These also I desire to approach, and with my praise. Three, and in this Zaatra, with this Barisman, I desire to approach the Asnya, with my praise. I desire to approach the Havana, with my praise, the Holy Lord of the Ritual Order, and the Savange, and Visya, the Holy Lords of the Ritual Order. And in this Zaatra, with this Barisman, I desire to approach Mithra, with my praise, and of the wide pastures, of the thousand ears, and of the myriad eyes, the Yazad of the spoken name, and the Raman Havastra, with him, the Holy Lord of the Ritual Order. For, and in this Zaathra, and with this Berisman, I desire to approach Rapitwina, with my praise, the Holy Lord of the Ritual Order, and Phra Dat Fichu, and Zantuma, the holy lords of the ritual order, and in this Zaathra, with this Barisman, I desire to approach towards righteousness, the best with my praise, and with him the fire, Aramazda's son. 5. And in this Zaathra, with this Barisman, I desire to approach Uza Yeirina, with my praise, and Faradat Vira, and Da Vyuma, the holy lords of the ritual order, but with them that lofty lord, the kingly and brilliant Apamnapat of the fleet horses, and likewise the water, Mazda made and holy. 6. And Awis Ruthrima and Aibigaya, the holy lords of the ritual order, and Fradat Vispam Huga Ete and Zarathustro Tema, the Holy Lord, and the good, heroic, and bountiful Hervatius of the saints, and the women who have many sons, and a peaceful and prosperous home life that continues without reverse throughout the year, and force well shapen and stately. And the victorious blow, Ahura given, and the victorious ascendancy, which it secures. And, seven, Ushahena, the holy lord of the ritual order, Beregya and Nemanya, the holy lords of the ritual order, and Sra Asha, obedience the blessed and the stately, who smites with the blow of victory, brothering the settlements of the Holy Lord of the Ritual Order, and Rashnu, the most just, and Arstat, who furthers the settlements and causes them to increase. Eight, and in this Zaathra, with this Beresman, I desire to approach the Mahya, the monthly festivals with my praise, the new moon and the waning moon, the moon within the holy lords, the ritual order, and the full moon, which scatters night. Nine. And the yearly festivals, Ma'ethyo, Zeremeya, the holy lord, the ritual order, and the Ma'ethyo, 
Shama and Paete Shahya and Aya Thuma, the promoter who spends the strength of males, the Amid and Maid Ya Iria and Hamas Path Ma and the seasons, the holy lords of the ritual order. Ten and end this Zaathra with this Barisman, I desire to approach all the lords of the ritual order with my praise. At three and thirty who come to the nearest round about our Havanas, who are those lords and seasons of righteousness, the best, which were inculcated by Masta and spoken forth by Zarathustra. 11. And in this Zaathra, with this Barisman, I desire to approach Ahura, and with my praise, the Lati, Eternal, and the Holy Two, and I desire to approach the stars, moon, and sun, with the Barisman plants, and with my praise, and with them, Mithra, the governor of all the provinces, and Ahura Mas, the radiant and glorious, and the good heroic, bountiful, fervacious of the saints. 12. And thee, the fire, Ahura Mas, the sun, the holy lord of the ritual order, with all the fires, and I desire to approach the good waters in this Zaathra, with this Barishman, with my praise, all best waters, Mazda made and holy, and all the plants which are Mazda made and holy. 13. And I desire to approach the bounteous Mathra in this Zaathra, with this Barisman, and with my praise, the most glorious as it is, and with it the law instituted against the Da'abas. Yea, I desire to approach the Zarathustrian law with my praise, and with it, its long descent, and the good Mazda Yasnian religion as complete. 14. And I desire to approach Mount Usha Darena in this Zaathra, with this Barisman, with my praise Mazda made, and glorious with sanctity, the Yazad Mount. And I desire to approach all the mountains with my praise, glorious with sanctity as they are, and with abundant glory Mazda made, and holy lords of the ritual order. And I desire to approach the mighty kingly glory Mazda made and consumed, unconsumed. Yea, even the mighty unconsumed glory Mazda made, and I desire to approach Asha Van Gogh, the good blessedness in my praise, the brilliant, lofty, powerful, and stately, saving by inherent power. Yea, I desire to approach the glory Mazda made with my praise, and I desire to approach the benefit conferred by Mazda. 15. And in this Zaathra, this Barisman, I desire to approach the blessing, pious and good, and the pious and holy man who utters it, and the mighty redoubted curse of the wise, the Yazad. 16. And in this Zaathra, with this Barisman, I desire to approach these waters with my praise, and these lands and plants, and these places, districts and pastures, and these dwellings with their springs of water, and this land ruler who is Ahura Mazda. 17. And in this Zaathra, with this Barisman, I desire to approach all the greatest lords with my praise, the day lords and the month lords, those of the years and those of the seasons, and the good, heroic, bountiful, fervacious of the saints. 18. And in this Zaathra, with this Barisman, I desire to approach all the holy Yazads with my praise, yea, even all the lords of the holy ritual order, Havana at his time, and Savanga at his time, and all the greatest lords of the ritual at their proper times. And so, say, we're talking about, you know, worship in terms of respect, um, but worship in terms of, you know, this thing's a god, you know, that's for her masa, hence masa yesnehe. Um, and so we're approaching, you know, and we're approach, approaching fulfilling the religion at the same time, so... Um, and mentioning all these um, figures and 
acknowledge, you know, well, we're all acknowledging him anyways. Um, so we are, uh, okay, hold on, let me see which, questions, acts of Ahura with thankfulness and devotion. So we are going to continue our comment with that and not sure how much further, but Okay. The comparison with Gar has long circulated among Zendists. Many adopt it, many agree admirably with the Pathavi as to this sense. A imat, a u harmazd, the mano kardari i lekum. When is your appointment of the time? And that conference with you in verse 17. And then we go on to the spoken wish. The Pahlavi va munik zak ele gobisno homan kvastar. And the chieftainship supported. Va Sardar Yehevun Isni Madame Haur Badad Va Amer Odad Er Yusang has Samino Bavishyante Upare Evir Dade Emir Dade and compare Yasna forty nine verse eight Fra S ta ungo a un gama. Professor Jolly compares who's diae with the Greek word fa s thai. The long since circulated comparison with bug seems to me hardly to be probable. It may however deserve an alternative to enjoy weal and immortality. But Accusatives do not fall so naturally to the end of the sentence in Gathic or Vedic. Those suspected of no partnership for the Pahlavi translation follow it here as against Haug, who trains, um, and here is um, them, the camel, those signs of honor in verse 18. Who translated the words us tremka by et amplias. It means the camel, so the Pahlavi translator rendered it so many centuries before the Europeans even knew what the Indian Ustra meant, which simple analogy Nario Sang first drew. Horses were a material for sacrifice among the Persians, according to Herodotus. The reasons for the prayer are not fully expressed. It's interesting. Okay, the conservative tradition may preserve things in terms of understanding the language or, or whatever that the others don't, but they're um, interpreting it in their traditional way rather than being so literal. And so they will have some information and the others that go straight to the language and try to now analyze it, but they lack the tradition that is, you know, continued the thing in a living sense. So some things are going to be missed and other things are, so, so it's a difficult thing. Um, but the fundamentalist approach would be, um, it would be more pure, you could say. But, you know, but the fundamentalist approach isn't the same thing as like, oh, I'm going to completely ignore what anybody else says. It's like, well, I'm going to consider it as po a possibility for the evidence. That would be more... Um, and so thou oh in what manner thou so better than is a first person a orist subjunctive if ta e ibio is to be read 
The Poplady, however, read, To Ebio, which is not lightly to be passed over. The rendering take has long circulated. I do not, however, prefer it here. And, and uh, so he put give. And the gifts, the wheel and immortality, but he might refer to the two objects, the mares and the camel. And, of course, all this is towards, well, not all of this, uh, but, you know, the, the general idea is towards the ideal Zarathustrian, as, as we could say, um, you know, to produce such a thing. But you definitely f show favor as far as you see people believing and doing good deeds. One of the things that a lot of people mess up with um, is it like like for example terms like Islamic? If Islam means surrender to God, so everything that's supposed to be good or true, and everything evil and ignorance is supposed to be opposed by it. So naturally, anybody who uh, has um, any good or truth in them uh, that they're doing, whatever, um, this would be labeled as Islamic, regardless of their beliefs or practices. Uh, I, I, I mean, regardless of what labels are put on them as, you know, are they actually Muslim or not or whatever, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Um, the behavior, the belief is considered such and, you know, the, you know, so the idea here is as long as far as a person is Mazda Yasnaha, Zarathustraha, um, you know. Uh, and so... Okay, we, we go on a little bit here um, to the end of 19, his doom at last. So also the path will be followed by all Kadar, Valaman, Pavan, Zak, Vin As Is No, Aito, Fratum, Igas, Pavan, Vin As Kari, Padafras, Fratum, Maman, Akas, Hamanam Zak Moon Valman Aito Afdum Mamanas Daravandi Naryosang with regard to him who does not give the reward which has come for the one fitted for are deserving of it to Garathustra's equal the reward which the truthful man that is the good man in giving him what is the first thing which happens through this sin of his? That is, what is his first chastisement in consequence of his fault? For I am aware of what his punishment shall be in the end. Well, uh, well some languages don't have a Z, so, um, you know, there's a mantra. Omarapakranadi. But is this Z H? thing um i can't think of any regular words that that, uh, that 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 would be in um i mean i don't read stuff in sanskrit all the time or something so um and so the final few notes here are in verse 20 so who fight for these two amidst the possibly translator either had a text with some form of pa, or was otherwise misled. He renders moon, netrun, but gives the word the adverse sense of hindering in the gloss. Aryosang, however, has practis kalante, which points to pesh yenti, and also tends to show other manuscripts of the Pothavi, and among them, the one used by Naryosang, read differently from R3. And the Persian transliteration, come, is the Vedic, come, with a additive, um, and the strength, see yes, 29, verse 1. Professor Wilhelm has vigor in the, oh, in the place of strength. Uh, rapine, um, the, the sacred cow to rapine, uh, you know, the, the, the verse from the Yasna that we mentioned, um, 
it's important to note that, like, for example, when you look at Tanakh, you know, the, the Jewish Old Testament, uh, the, the Jewish version of the Old Testament, um, we end up with something along the lines of, you know, um, three versions after you had the number of rows uh, well, uh, uh, and columns. Oh, well, that doesn't look the same the right way in the stream, but I was thinking, you know, um, but and letters. So you still ended up with three versions, but before that, there was um, stuff going on. Um, but anyway, it's the uh, six. Oh, okay. And any uh, did I did I say the name of the chapter that we're commenting on here because. We may finish this. The doctrine of dualism, homage to Masta. Um, so the translation of one, come seeking the knowledge. Ish means to come seeking. The Bavi Huned of the Pathavi is followed followed by many is by no means incorrect. Um, and now ponder ye the reading. Mazda Ungodum was suggested to me by Dr. Aurel Stein, previously, as I believe, to his announcement elsewhere before this, the indication of the Pathavi, which always hesitates to change the manuscript at the time as sacred, has been followed by all with this necessary error. Well, that's the thing with conservative, uh, conservativeism, is that you have, you know, if there's error with the previous scholars and tradition you end up following that rather than critically a fundamentalist would look at it and see well does this match up with the stuff um and so we go on now ponder you're clearly all uh, now ponder um the reading oh oh, oh i'm sorry the E and Kithre must be represented as a nasalized vowel, as in Mehma Eddi. And, you know, clearly all concerns him. Um, Im might be just a particle. And so f his faith and his tongue, I would here strongly insist upon the alternative rendering in the sense of the Pahlavi. The rendering above is given on principle. A text should never be changed if it is possible to render it as it is. Read the wicked confessing, Pareto, the active sense, evil beliefs with his tongue. The Pahlavi has Zakas, Soritar, Kamaku, Va, Zakas, Dar, Vandi, Pavan, Huzvano, Hem, Nuned, Many with this few would at once read Vareta um, without the manuscripts. And the, the world's first two spirits in verse 2, there's the peculiar Po Uruya Por Ur Ya, if not a locative. The first two things, principles, forces, and so on, in Yasna 30, verse 3. And spake to the harmful. Observe, uh, notice that Vahyo Akemka in Yasna 30, verse 3 necessarily applies to the Ma'inyu, and not only because, as nominatives, the words fall to the end of the sentence. Here we have analogous adjectives applied unmistakably to the two. The neuters correspond to with Vahistem Mano and Akistem Mano and are of capital importance as expressing that abstract conception which renders the Gathas so much more impressive as the earliest documents of their kind. And the possibly glosses to our soul, our souls are one. I do not. My foot, the edge is like that with that thing, so my foot slips. Um, I do not think what thou thinkest, 
for I think what is pious, and thou thinkest what is impious. Nor are our teachings for I teach what is pious, and thou what is impious. Nor are our religions for mine is Agathic, and thine of the sorcerer, not our souls. For he who takes his stand on my religion, and he who takes his stand on thy religion are apart. Their souls do not occupy the same position. Ner Yosang has Naka Dine. Yato me Dine. Gatha Bhava Teka Rakshasha. Oh, Rakshashi. Um, the first teaching was a prominent idea with Zarathustrians. Zarathustra is called in the later Avesta the Pa Oiryo Teka Esha. He hardly plays that role. Uh, he hardly plays the role of a performer in the Avesta. He is mentioned after others chronologically, but not as repudiating them. He might better be termed reviver. Yam is difficult, perhaps the Da and Nam is to be understood. Aryem, Matrem, read. See the verse 4. Angus, Ahya, Vahestem, neither Po Urvim nor Vahestem. Uh, Vahistem are adverbs. In the Quran, one thing that throws people off, I mean, even without the con even the context kind of, well, the prophet comes, and they're the first one that's a Muslim among their people. Um, I'm the, you know, hey, I'm the first who surrender to God. How, how about y'all follow me? I mean, it's not simplistic like that, but Abraham, Moses, Muhammad, um, there's not a, con a contradiction relating an event like that with a, with each of them. Um, and Zarathustra, too, you know, God sends a prophet because, you know, um, the religion is not preserved. In the, you, know, you know, it ne it needs refurbished, as the Bible has Jesus say. Not doing away with the jot or tittle of it, but refurbishing it. It's not he comes and thing, you know. Then you don't have to follow the law once his examples followed. Like, well, Jesus orders animal sacrifice. Well, that was when he was alive. But as soon as he's dead, that's like the size. Like, no, no. Where does Jesus say that? And Paul kind of didn't get that too. He decided later. Um, but anyways, we're on verse four. It has pointed these things. Some change the text here to another which corresponds to some of the terms better. It should, however, be first rendered as it stands. The obscurities may well be owing to idiosyncrasy. It, the composer, possibly also to an affection of obscurity or dark speech. How can Mazda be said to know himself? Or how could any but Ahura be spoken of as the father of Bohumana and Aramaete? He recognized himself as having generated V, M, and A. He was conscious of the completed relation. Okay, Bohumana. And our, oh, okay, okay, never mind. Uh, so, Heshas looks irresistibly like a nominal, like a nominal singular, but it may not be a nominal actoris from the red up root. Compare Hish Asat. Although the Pafali renders with a different case of meaning, um, we're, we're in the same verse here, uh, the all-viewing Lord in verse 3. Um, what Indian word to compare here is hard to say. I prefer Barthelema's earlier view as to the meaning with the Pafali har vispo nikir idar by dropping the later glosses. The sense of the Pathavi comes out, as usual, much closer to the Gatha. And observe the vigor possessed by Straasha, as it designates the angel of obedience, and at the same time it is the only word which can here bring out the sense when it is understood in actual meaning so continually with the words Bahu, Mana, Asha, etc. Um, at one point I'll probably have get a good... You know, chair, chair in here, so I don't slip and everything. Uh, but um, we're just and so we have 
verse 6. That's how we'll declare forth him who is literally him who I doing aright, praising him with his immortals, who all likewise are beneficent, or it may be that which. And let me make sure that's still on verse 6 here. The axed. So many who hold the least to the hints of the pathavi, otherwise I would render there is furtherance, comparing Afrashim Anto and the next note for coming in verse 7. Va in Tikka seems, as elsewhere, to express those who are becoming. The Pathophy uniformly errs or is strangely free with this word, uh, eternal, immortality. The sense, continuous, is here admirably adapted. And another word, um, the good spirit. This word seems evidently used in a modern sense of character, disposition. Elsewhere, we are in doubt whether to refer it to the spinista ma'inu of Ahura or to Ahura himself. Paradise, uh, the home of song, possibly the home of supplementary. Well, if you hear some of this stuff, um, and, and you, uh, I mean, song our songs is that's that's how the revelation seems to come to generation after generation and we have um his praise we shall bear the change from the singular to the plural is frequent are you saying varies from the pahlavi in the last verse improving upon it avam tasma'e pranamam Antar, Garof Mane, Nedad Am Mahe. This is probably an intentional improvement as the Persian manuscript follows a Prophlevi text. His manuscript, the Prophlevi, probably reads, Abra Yaha Bund. Now, a lot of this stuff that we don't quite understand, you see the same thing in the Quran, the changing of the tense and stuff. It's supposed to have an effect and connect to stuff. And, uh, you know, this stuff is lost in translation. We're like, well, you know, these are, well, um, yeah, it's it's not just being poetic to making a style or something. It's, you know, um, there's meaning that if we treat things, too many things as the same, we're going to miss out on that. Or who has created the wheel or sorrow for us with good intention as to our discipline, but it's hardly probable Ahura did not originate evil. You know, creation chose it. Spenka, as penka, are used adverbally. See, yes, 34, verse 7 and... That note is in regards to the wheel and the 